Hey everyone, Dr. Harmon here. I wanted to continue our discussion on the history of plastic surgery with an individual who I think is one of the most fascinating figures in that history. His name is Ivo Patangi. All the information I'm going to be talking to you about Ivo Patangi comes from one source, and that is Plastic Surgery Obsession, Brazil's Dr. Ivo Patangi triggered it all. So Ivo Patangi got to start modestly working in an ambulance in the favelas of Rio as a resident. And he got his big break in 1948 when he did a scholarship to go to the United States, specifically Cincinnati, to train with Dr. John Longacre, the plastic surgeon at Bethesda Hospital in Clifton. After his training with Dr. John Longacre, he traveled to the United Kingdom to train with Sir Archibald McIndoe and Sir Harold Gillies. And as we talked about before, after World War II, they maintained robust private practices, and that's where Tangy trained. Sir so Archibald McIndoe encouraged him to continue cosmetic surgery when he returned to Rio, and Sir Harold Gillies encouraged him to do research and to continue training residents. And he did all three of those when he came home. In fact, he founded the first charity hospital for plastic surgery in Rio in 1952. And that charity hospital became famous for a couple reasons. Number one, he had formed the first uh, training program in Brazil for plastic surgery, and he modeled it after the American system. And two, they treated the most uh, dire cases. In fact, there was a carnival fire in Rio uh, that at the time was the most severe in the history of the world. And they treated hundreds of patients immediately in that clinic, residents, nurses, and other staff alike. He then founded the world's first hospital dedicated solely to plastic surgery called Clinica Ivo Petengi in 1963 in Rio. And this became a very luxurious experience and a place where jet setters would come after World War II. He was a big contributor to the medical literature and to anatomic texts. He published a book in 1981 called Aesthetic Plastic Surgery of the Head and Body, and that became a classic uh, aesthetic surgery text. He named multiple anatomic structures, including the Patangi ligament, which is an important structure that most plastic surgeons are aware of, as well as Patangi's line, which is a marker of the frontal branch of the facial nerve, and it's a line I draw on every patient before facelift. He also became known for the type of procedures in rhinoplasty, uh, including what's called a Patangi nose. The next video I'm going to post is a little bit more about Ivo Patangi, and it's more specifically about his personality, some interesting background and in social history, uh, and some other fun stories about him that I think what make him largely so interesting. 